This simulation is going to deal with the stopping distance for a car of different masses traveling at different speeds on different surfaces. So the way this works out is you'll start out with dry road and new tires. You can change that by just clicking on it to dry road old tires, raining in new tires, and you have a whole variety of different surfaces to choose from. Okay, so we'll start with dry road and new tires. At the bottom you can set the mass of the car and the speed of the car. When you're ready to start, you just click on the start button. At some point a stop sign will show up and when it does, you're supposed to click on the braking button. Okay, the red area will show you the entire time the stop sign was visible. Once you actually clicked on the stop button or the braking button, a display will show up showing you how far you traveled. So my car traveled approximately 26 meters after I applied the brakes. Okay, the only purpose for having this red area is to look at people's reaction times. It's not actually part of the lab itself, but it will give the students something to shoot for. And um, you could see my reaction time was pretty terrible. When I wanted to try again, I just hit return, start again. As soon as the stop sign came up again, I clicked. You see I had a much better reaction time, but the car took the exact same amount of distance to stop as it did before. You can now adjust the parameters such as the speed of the car, start it again, break it, and you can see the car traveled a much further distance this time. So students can explore the effects of mass and speed and surface on stopping distance and hopefully with the reaction time, you know, have something to challenge them as they go through the lab.